The bail industry is big business, bigger than just those shady buildings you drive past on the street. Those places are backed by big insurance companies, and the insurance companies are backed by major investors. This industry pulls in $2 billion in revenue every year. Bail is supposed to make sure you show up on your court date. You pay the money to get out of jail, and when you return to court, they give it back to you. But what if you can't afford bail in the first place? You sit in jail, or you call this guy. You can be accused of anything in our society. You have to have the, the money to get out to defend yourself. For the wealthy person, he can be bailed out right away. He has a financial wherewithal to get out. And if you don't have the money, you will come to us. What's wrong, baby? I'm in trouble with the law. Don't you worry about a thing. Mama's gonna call bad boys bail bonds. They'll know what to do. When we bail you out, we're providing you a service and we wanna get paid on it. Cause your mama wants you home. I'm here to take care of some business for my brother who is incarcerated here in LA County. His bail is $400,000. We put that up to the court. We charge 10%. That is non-refundable. That's our fee. Even at 10% of that, that's $40,000. Who has that laying around? In the end, Lamont would have to pay 40 grand, while these guys get their money back, paying nothing. It's increasing the number of people staying in jail prior to their court date because they can't afford to hire a commercial bail bondsman. We like the system the way it is now. That's what keeps us in business. The bail bondsmen are the people you see on the street, but behind the scenes, the industry is making sure that bail profiteering is here to stay. They formed a powerful lobbying group called the American Bail Coalition to make sure that the profits keep rolling in. They've been successful in several states in passing legislation that is pro-commercial bail. And it has done so with ALEC, a group that pushes pro-corporate models of legislation. In 2011, they drafted 12 model bills fortifying the commercial bail industry, and through ALEC, we're able to promote those bills to uh, state governors and legislators. I'm not so crazy as not to know that you've already figured out that if I can talk you into doing this bill, my clients are going to make some money on the bond premiums. Since ABC was founded, bail amounts have skyrocketed. The rest of the world is a little puzzled as to why we use it, um, particularly because of the, the impacts on people's rights and freedom. Only two countries in the world use commercial bail, just two. We don't want no regulations, keep the laws the same, don't want anything changed basically, and that's just the truth. We don't want no changes in the bail industry. We provide a service, and we want to get paid for those services.